is a freaking panda from the Blocks cast, and I'm here today to show you guys how to actually set up your iPhone or iPad or similar to do recordings for the Minecraft Pocket Edition. I know I'm not the first one to do it, um, but I do have a couple little techniques that have been really helpful for my recordings. Um, basically, what you want to do is you're going to want to jailbreak your iPhone first or iPad. And then I used the Evasion software. You can see this is iOS 6.1, brand new, iPhone 5, everything, and it's working just perfectly. So then once you jailbreak it, you're going to get this app called Cydia. Now within Cydia, you can see here, you can download all the tweaks or apps that you want. Basically for recording specifically, you want Minecraft. You're also going to want a setting similar to OXO or NC settings or SB settings. Uh, what they're going to do is they are actually going to allow you to toggle Wi-Fi and similar settings very quickly. Uh, specifically, I turn off my Wi-Fi and my data services whenever I am trying to record. I seem to have forgotten to do so today, but beside the point. Anyway, display recorder, you're going to also want that. That's what's going to allow you to actually record your, dis your Minecraft on the iPhone. Um, it's really easy to get. You guys will figure that out. Just go into Cydia. After that, you're going to want to go to your settings, and you're going to want to mess with your iRecorder settings. So the recording settings are going to be in here. And under Display Recorder here, you can change all kinds of settings from frame rate to whatever. My most um, noticeable change is the video format. It doesn't come initially with the mic audio. You are able to change that so that people can hear you recording. Um, also, video quality is usually set to normal and your taps are set up as a different size. If you guys would recommend that I turn my taps off, you're more than welcome to, um, but that'll be more prevalent in the actual videos. So those are those settings. And then when recording, once you have NC settings or SB settings or OXO set up, what you can do, this is NC settings, is you can pull this down and you can turn things off. So for example, I can turn my Wi-Fi off, I can turn Bluetooth, cellular, all kinds of things. These are going to be probably the quickest way to disable the notifications in your phone um, if you have iOS 6.1 because the notification center does not have like an automatic toggle to turn everything off when you're actually in it. Um, if you're not on the phone, the do not disturb works nicely, but for recording, things are still going to come through. You're still going to get text messaging, notifications, everything like that. So I definitely recommend it. Here's an example of OXO. I'm going to double click the uh, center button here. Um, OXO is actually really cool because you can see it here. It displays an actual screenshot of whatever you have open. So you can see my settings and my Cydia. So if you slide over to the left here twice, you can set these toggles through the settings. And as you can see, I can disable Wi-Fi or you know cellular service, change my brightness, all these things. So I definitely would recommend doing something similar.